So we look on all these properties and when the first time you start work with Terrigen, it's maybe become overwhelmed. Um, don't worry too much about remember all of them. Again, I just want to show you a very fast kind of overview, make you somewhat familiar with what you see here. So what is meaning in a, when you start working, you kind of, oh, I kind of remember where it was located. So you can go back to this and uh, preview if you need it or overall make you familiar. So one step. The one important thing what I want to cover in this tutorial, it is looking on this 3D preview. This is probably the main windows you will work with because you can preview um, location of the camera, your renders. This is kind of how you render your eye, what are you going to see? So this is window is important. And I want to pay a little bit more attention to that. Um, one thing for me, because I work with many different applications, environmental and 3Ds, uh, one, the concept when you have just only one window to preview, I don't feel comfortable because I don't know where is my camera located, what's surrounding and other stuff. And I do create another views on my screen. So what you can do right here, if you, and not, for example, you not kind of like how it's look just only one window, if you prefer, prefer other ones, I'm just going right here, shrink a little bit. So we can preview. And um, imagine this is your second monitor. So what you can do, you can go to the view and go open 3D preview in a new window. And next, you can always go and set them. For example, right here, you can also go click and you can select open in a new window. So you're not necessarily can go up there. So right here, as example, you can create different previews. Notice they all will work and render as you're going. And right here in a drop down, select different camera. You can select top view. Okay. And you can create, for example, front view, whatever you like it. You can select your cameras. And you can also set center directly on the camera um, or preview, for example, reset to current um, render camera, reset to position, center focus, center on an object or a shutter and right here selected. So we have our camera selected and we can always just zoom kind of out away so we can preview from the top of you, our like, camera location. So I know which direction it's located and everything. The, also, all of this will be updating all the windows when you start working. So it's kind of a little bit helpful um, preview if, again, if you, um, whatever you prefer um, to setting. So you can have it your previews in another windows or set on the side if you want to preview sideways or other things. So it's one options. However, for this tutorial, because I'm going to work just on one screen, um, I'm going to work mainly in this 3D preview. So now we have the windows and you can customize. The next most important things for me was it is understanding how to navigate and move my camera inside the view. If you hold down Alt button, and again, if you remember, you can always go to the mouse in key settings. You can expand and right here is your cheat uh, kind of information. If you forget, you always can take it, put it on your secondary screen if you have it, or even maybe shrink down and put it somewhere else on the screen so it will go um, around. On this case, you can always look if you don't remember. But overall, this way, if you press Alt key and you press um, left mouse button, you can kind of orbit around. Okay. Your right button will pan up and down. And you have a three button mouse. Your middle click will zoom in and out. Or scroll bar will do, but with small steps. And those steps you can specify inside the preference if you remember 
and you can go inside um, navigations and right here you can change the steps if you need it. So this is simple navigations. You notice when we move or when you click and adjust, the screen starts refreshing and rendering. Right here you have it render details. It's all rendered up to 80 and after it stop rendering. So you have this kind of blocky uh, polygon looking render. Uh, sometimes it's become not enough information when you have clouds, if you want to see more shape of the clouds. I found out useful to create another pop-up and shrink down so the preview becomes smaller and it's look a little bit better on the shape so it can define a little bit easier way. Okay, that is navigation, so you can move it. Um, there were, till we speak about navigations and before we jump in some other details, you can also navigate by pop up right here navigation tool so let's go ahead and open our navigation control and you notice we have a lot of options that you can go and access directly by clicking so you have the bank of your camera okay you can always double click to the center you have it tilt on your camera you have it move up and down zoom and you also have a rotation of the camera. On a middle one, if you just click and drag, this is think about like almost touchpad or some joystick in your video games when you start working with this. So you have the joystick on the middle, you have all your components on the side you can directly access, and you have the steps or speed of effect. So for example, if it's not fast enough how it zoom for you, you can click to increase maximum so you can see it's much faster or if you find details you can do this as well right here just okay let me go faster okay or you can preset a little bit more smaller okay in my cases many times i find out i'm using just a normal alt key and move my uh, mouse around however when I want to tweak my final render, like for example, banking or other things to create dramatic looks or other things, I'm using the navigational control. So combination of this, this is for me more fine tune up or some additional options that I may um, cannot use it with my mouse as well. Okay, let's minimize our control. On our other side right here, we have our compass which is showing zero cameras as always will point to the zero we also have it yellow dot is our sun position so let's go to the lighting click on the sun and watch this um headings you notice when i rotate the yellow dot is kind of moving around so it's helped me to preview my sun locations as well if you go center, let me bring a little bit down, actually around here. You notice we have it our sun right here, location. So when you select the object, you can also move the object around by using arrows. In 3D view or any other views that you select, you can move objects. You can also select in some cases, um, not in this one, but scale rotation if you have a different object as well you can drop to the terrain and this is nice um, I used to work another with a view example and drop to one I found out uh, that um, Terrigen have it much easier and nicer tool how you can work with a drop to terrain or place to the terrain and I'll show you this shortly so let me move Sun away from this case and this again, this is our position. Uh, we also, you can change this compass if you remember. And let's go to in our navigations. And for example, we use 3D axis. So in this case, it's one show headings. It will show right here. You can see as an axis instead of headings. So it just depend. Um, but I wait till I mention this one thing. Um, the axis inside uh, Terrigen, you have an X, it's your horizontal kind of left to right, Y, 
is your from top to bottom, your vertical, and Z is your depth. So in some cases, it's more natural because when you refer to Z depth in many applications, you know, it's a ZX, which going away from the camera to far or to closer, whatever Z is a distance from the cameras. Okay, so we have X, Y, Z. This is our coordinates right here displaying our navigations.